Of all the Minecraft rabbit holes I get stuck in on the internet, I don't know any quite as interesting as Old Root, a Minecraft mystery that led a whole group of internet investigators on a wild goose chase. But did they actually solve the mystery? And how did it all start? Well, it all began with a simple Reddit message, linking to an image so dark that the investigators had no choice but to brighten it, revealing a creepy Minecraft figure along with a link, leading to a SoundCloud page with wobbly sounding tracks. But the investigators realized pretty quickly that by passing the audio through a spectrogram, two different things would come out of it. The words Silent Raven from the first track and a link to a dark image in the second with the words the raven is watching. So where did this lead? Well, by going back to Reddit, a user named Toxic Popcorn posted a message from Old Roo with yet again another dark image. Investigators were starting to see a pattern here, but instead of a code, the image shared a link to a Tumblr blog titled Shadows of the Past. Now, I couldn't find the blog, but at the time, it was reported to be completely protected with a password that the investigators already knew, leading them to a dark new image with a simple line of text above a weirdly looking Steve, reading, We are the answer. But that wouldn't be all, as a Morse code signature was also found Found on the image, later translating to Old Root, confirming that this was actually him. But Old Root didn't just disappear after this, in fact, he sent another image link, this time with what looked like a blurred out Steve with the jumbled text above their head, later discovered to be Caesar Cipher, a way to encode messages by shifting each letter in the alphabet by a fixed number of spaces. And with the combined efforts of the investigators, it was solved in no time, revealing the message, we are waiting. Although this image had more to give, because below Blurry Steve was a string of numbers and letters that when put in the correct order at the end of an imager link, sent the investigators further down this rabbit hole to a new clue. But this one was unique. You see, the clue contained text from an old poem within the word Raven, but some words were changed from the original in such a way that by combining the altered words, it gave the phrase, the hidden truth is, or the truth is hidden. So what was Old Root hiding? Well, this would remain a mystery to the investigators as fake Old Roots and clues started popping up trying to mislead them altogether. But this didn't slow Old Root's progress, as another weirdly coded message magically appeared, this time in binary code, which could be translated into letters using an 8-bit sequence. However, the image was so distorted, it was difficult to even read. So when an investigator named Crate Muncher brute forced the codes, revealing a unique pattern of seven characters, it was no surprise that when put in the correct order, it would give a link leading investigators to their next clue. An image with a dark figure, but a completely different code. Hexadecimal code, a way of writing numbers that makes it possible to use fewer digits for larger numbers. And with the right values, it led the investigators to the next clue. But something was different. Steve was no longer in the dark, instead standing on some sort of bridge, with the first piece of text the investigators would spot translating to we are the answer, along with Morse code translating to a shortened version of deception. But what was so deceptive? This would remain a mystery, leaving the investigators stuck again, waiting for their next clue. And surely enough, a day later, a new clue had appeared, a puzzle with numbers encrypted in multiple layers making it much more difficult to crack. But an investigator named Jealous12 figured out each encryption that was used. Now I have yet to understand how he jumped through all of these encryption hurdles, but after converting the code through multiple different functions, a new image was finally unlocked. The investigators were back on the goose chase, with the next clue wishing them good luck, above a string of letters and numbers that later turned out to be the end of another imager link, taking the investigators to what they thought was a dark blank page. But Old Root wasn't going to end things here. He stepped in, sending a less blurry version, with code to a secret message reading, You are deeper down the rabbit hole. False prophets will deceive you. Those who are pure will see what hides in the darkness. The raven is always watching. We are the answer. This was then followed up by three words scattered around the image. Dog door, lady, and a word too distorted to properly read that the investigators decided to leave this clue behind and dive deeper for themselves. Now this is where it gets crazy, because an investigator would eventually come across a YouTube video by Old Roo with Tiptoe Through the Tulips playing in the background and text flashing on screen with the words, he stole my face and the raven is watching. However, the video didn't finish there for the investigators as the song had a little more to give as Old Roo in Morse code signature would reveal itself when putting it through a spectrogram as well as the video also containing various locations, a typical cave, a mineshaft and what looked like a melon temple. And who was that? Was that Old 
Blood Root. This would go unanswered as an investigator named Purple Plant received a message on his SoundCloud from an account named Nevermore, reading, watching from the shadows, waiting. Then a couple days went past and another message was then received, containing a type of image never seen before, this time of a real person and text reading, hello friend. This mystery was escaping Minecraft and the investigators wondered how far it would truly go. But there was only one way to find out. They continued their chase, eventually leading them to a page with the word perception occasionally glitching and shifting to deception. But here's where the mystery takes a real twist, because investigators would use an inspect element on the webpage, revealing the phrase, we are the divine answer. And by highlighting specific letters in the code, it would reveal a familiar symbol, old root symbol. But it didn't stop there. Investigators continued to read the block's source code until they found a link leading to a dark image with the phrase, what am I? Along five jumbled words that connected back to a missing painting, the storm on the Sea of Galilee. But the painting and the image shared one thing in common. They never led to anything new, or at least for now. So investigators started wondering if these large gaps in clues were some sort of diversion. Were the investigators moving faster than old route? They wouldn't get much time to speculate as yet again, Purple Plant received a message. A Caesar cipher, reading, if you wish to know the future, you must know the past. This was an obvious attempt to get the investigators looking at older puzzles, but there wasn't enough evidence until an investigator was sent an image with the words, the fun has only begun, and a fainter message on the image that read, hidden inside. And as it turned out, Odrut wasn't joking, he'd used a clever trick, allowing him to hide one image inside of another, and once opened, would lead the team of investigators to some sort of grid that allowed previous puzzles to slot in perfectly, but this only stumped the investigators investigators, as there simply wasn't enough to go off, and Old Root had clearly been watching because another message was received, this time in a type of binary code called Base64, that once figured out, gave access to a glitched gif with the word remember. But Old Root would send another message, where the slashes used in the place of letters aligned perfectly with the phrase, the storm on the Sea of Galilee. But what about the second part? Well, it turned out to be the answer to decoding the grid puzzle, leaving the investigators four different codes with the correct one opening up to a new image. If you wish to know the future, you must know the past. Good luck. Odru had sent this before, so it wasn't anything new. But by brightening the image, it revealed symbols in a certain order. And by rewriting the correlating symbols to numbers and then the alphabet, a secret message was uncovered. Become void of your material senses. Open your mind's eye. The investigators were ecstatic. Finally, a serious leap. And before they knew it, Odru had once again delivered. He won't be able to see, hear, or communicate. He'll be practically brain dead. This pushed the investigators further to multiple layers of text, reading, who is Odru? Why is he doing this? What is the Raven? I'll show you. Joined by hexadecimal code that would have to be solved later, because Odru was about to go on a flurry, sending messages to multiple investigators, eventually ending with Odru posting to Reddit himself, with a video with the words, become void, become faceless. The investigators were truly wondering where this would lead. However, Odru didn't give the investigators a single moment to think, posting what would later be known as the final image, leading to a puzzle that to this day leaves this mystery completely unanswered.